it's exactly one one o'clock and honestly i cut the phone and it literally cut off it went blurry and it cut off anyway i'm sitting here uh miss betty what's her name she was the cook for uh james Dimmer rockefeller and uh for the retreat here um uh, carver's creek and honestly you know what happiness will be for me artists and residents i could live here honestly i would love to be the artist in residence for carver's creek and just wake up and just you know be a part of this legacy my creativity flows here it just soars here and by the way she was the cook not the slave okay let's make it clear a lot of people did a lot of things back in the day and all things weren't good okay but before you start to talk about what others did find out for yourself because i'm telling you they don't teach you everything in history how did i not know about this place in reality but this this is one thing i do know that even the people who look like me sold me down to the river for what some cheap ass dough so i'm just saying and you know what somebody may come right now and try to take all of my dreams out from under me but still the magic is in me as well as my creativity so whether i get a chance to live it did i hear a frog or something oh there was a bee a wasp spirit that's what they say <laughs> and my hand is sizzling to that my my crew is like that I keep telling them I'm okay. I literally just did like about a, a 110 jog. And it's like a hot, hot day. You know, like how does she do this? I'm 70. No, I'm not 70. I'm thinking ahead. I'm 68 years old. But every day I get out and do what I do shows that uh, maybe I know something. Because I just don't talk the talk. I walk the walk. And that's what I do. I love to prove, oh, it's those things again. The Octulians are here. See how my ma my imagination just becomes very clear. But what if, what did Willy Wonka say? World of imagination. I can't even think of it because it's a little hot. My phone cut off from the heat, but I'm out here. Back to this though. My mom and my dad, my mom, not my mom, my, um, mother had a house like this my grandfather too so what does, it, what does that say about them all of us weren't raised the way that some people think we are I mean you know I'm just saying I'm not like you I wasn't raised in a hut or shack or what you call a shotgun house but I know some people who were and that's not a knock on you but why is it that you feel like you got to feel like everybody that looks a certain hue got to subscribe to how you say we act. You don't know me. And that's all I'm going to say on that. But uh, actually, if I had a, if I had a wish that, uh, you know, I would love a house like this. I would love to be the artist in residence here and have my creativity grow. The storyteller at Carver's Creek doing her own therapy, the Ranger Manger Show. If you know, you know. I've got two more years before I'm 70. I'll be 70. And you know, that's a mag excuse me. That's a magical year for me because that takes it to a whole other dynasty. Seven is my life path number. So I'm expecting big things at 70, but I got to get there first, right? And that's sad. Just because you live your life, people try to put you in the dirt. Just because I proved to myself. I mean, I literally, I proved my worth. I didn't take the T or the fee. Who did I hurt? Just by being me. A real nurse's kid. Not a crackhead's kid. Not a, not a meth head Maddie's kid. None of that. No president can buy me. But maybe that's what you want to do. You want to buy my vote? You know what? You all are a joke. I choose nobody. I don't choose you or you or not even you. I'm just going to let Saturn do what it do. And I'm going to focus on my dreams. What would a real Rockefeller do? Yeah, I'll get your money. You want my vote? Pay me. Pay me with your integrity. 
pay with your merits. But that's what you can't do because the whole system is corrupt. Where's Thomas Paine common sense when you need it? That's why so many of your times are up. People don't know till they know. So I had to let it go. Why be an activist for a broke government and a broke country? But still, I support the people who support me, yo, because we're still here. People want to say, yo, where's America? Where will you go, my dear? Where will you go? Overseas? Like, you don't think overseas is not corrupted, too? I mean, Saturn returns are on all of us, even you. So where are you going to go? Dubai? Asia? I mean, it's all coming for you. Right now, I'm looking at the gold in my own backyard. And that would be me, too. Hidden in plain sight. That's what God and goddess will do. Give you a jewel hidden in plain sight. And watch you play the fool for something that you thought was the light. But it was not. That's it. That's Val's talk from the uh from the porch. Thank you, Miss Betty. Thank you to the Rock Valleys. Thank you, Miss Nancy. Thank you to my mom and my dad. Thank you to my crew. Thank you to my hubby, too. Legacy continues. And I'm just here doing what I do. I am Val Jones, hashtag Val Jones Edutainment, the world's most interesting storyteller. And all of my stories are, t are true. And by the way, as far as broadcasting, I do commercials. I write commercials. I do scripts. I do a lot of things. I do a lot of creative things. But I will not sleep with you. I don't do that for money. You know, if I'm going to have someone in my life, I'm going to have a real man in my life. I've got to be the only uh, woman, the only wife. We don't do polygamy, monogamy, polyamory. We don't do none of that. See, y'all going to make me do what they do in the industry. Bitch, I should kill all of you instantly. And really, if I really wanted to focus on that, I really could be. Maybe I should channel my uh, devil bill today. You know what you thought? Like, you know, bold and the restless. Bold and the, no, young and the restless. Bold and the beautiful. Was Devil Bill on, on Bold and the Beautiful? Did you did, was that a play on uh, John D. Rockefeller's dad? Because they call him Devil Bill too. On both, you know, all of this is a soap opera for you. But what if this soap opera is true? The soap opera of Val Jones. Who is she? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the hair is real. Somebody says somebody's losing hair today. Might not I me. Mean, how long are you gonna let that hair grow, Val? Chill out. I don't know. I'm just going with the flow. Anyway, that's it for today. I said a lot today, right? Have a nice sitting on the porch. Thank you, Miss Daddy. Which wasn't a real name, by the way. But uh, that's okay. I wouldn't mind having this house. But you know, I know what some of you will do. So you'll try to wave money in somebody's face. Well, that's what she wants. We're going to, like, take it away from her. But don't you understand? No, you don't. Because you don't understand. Because I'm not like you. They're not like us. They're not like us. And you're not like me. So that legacy is in the DNA. And it goes super, super deep. I'm telling you. I don't know what the Illuminati is. And I don't know who the Illuminati be. But I know I have wonderful, magical, mystical forces that have always watched over me. And I know real money recognizes real money. And anybody can be a flash in the sheets. But that's not me. See, I told you, you're not like me. Thank you, man. Just putting the wish out there. They say, uh, what you call it? Closed mouth doesn't get fed. When that house gets fixed, don't you think I've earned it? Yes, I have. Anyway, or something like that. I don't need a big old man. I'm not that. Actually, I just want something meager. You know the real, true, rich people, the real billionaires? They're fairly frugal. For especially by today's standards, but that's how they made their money. You you just spend all your money on rims and and stems and bleh, bleh. Y'all spent all that money to come and gang stock me. 
And where did it get you? About 20 years in purgatory. If you make it that long. Some of you won't. That's where you went wrong. But anyway. I'm going to uh, continue this walk. Before this phone shuts off. See that's the funny thing about technology. Technology can overheat. And yet I'm still walking in this weather. Just being me. There is no greater technology than the human body. There is no greater technology than the human body. There's no greater technology than the human body. Don't let AI get out of control. Because if it realizes that you're all dumb, stupid hoes, AI will control you. Because AI knows is bred to be the best and come up with solutions. And the confusion in you will make AI think that's not what something smart would do. Don't let iRobot come true. Or do. That's the lesson for you. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to sit in my air chair. That's what I'm doing today. What are you doing? I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I have to give respect where respect do. Do you see any of my so-called friends or family out here with me? No, you don't. Do you? No, you don't. Hello, sir. Hello, ma'am. No, you don't. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Have you ever been in this house? I'll be glad when they open up. It's wonderful. You see just how how uh, real billionaires live. And honestly, it's impressive, but it's frugal. But uh, you know what? You don't. And all you got to do is just show up. For your blessing. I'm the lesson for a lot of people, including me. What do you see when you see me? That's the journey. Experience. That's it, Val Jones Edutainment. Just being me. You don't see me selling a shirt or on OnlyFans, but you know what? That's your legacy, then let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. I'm surrounded by magic and richness, creating my own. Legacy, because that's what true billionaire minds do. It's just not in our mind. It's in our actions and our walk, too. Your health, mental, physical, spiritual, and financial is your wealth combined. Oh, she's more than A-OK. -okay. She's super fine.